United States did recognize solemnly that there is only one legal representative uh, of China, that is People's Republic of China. In other words, People's Republic of China is a legitimate government represent the whole China. That position is a common point, is a key point that two countries can normalize its relationship in 1979. The Taiwan Relations Act contradicting uh, basically the one China principle, you know, the U.S. agreed to follow, to observe. There's only one China, Taiwan is part of China. At the same time, they are developing substantial relationship with Taiwan or treating Taiwan like a separate political entity. Of course, uh, it contradicts. If we, we look at the issue from the perspective of three communists uh, as agreed by both sides, obviously, one, uh, Taiwan Relations Act is a unilateral product, as uh, you just said. But we have to remember, unilateralism uh, actually is what uh, a hegemon is all about. I mean, uh, a very important demonstration of a hegemon is that it can do things unilaterally, and the United States has been doing this all the time. Doesn't matter who is in the White House. But the point here is that you cannot and should not, one cannot and should not, impose a unilateral decision or unilateral act upon a solemnly, mutually agreed uh, uh, a principle or policy, uh, which is a foundation of the normalization uh, of the relationship between two major powers. That, I think, is a very reckless and also, uh, in, in long term, very could lead to a disaster which, you know, would damage the interests of both sides. Having said that, we also have to acknowledge that Taiwan Relations Act actually is a play of the domestic politics of the United States, which has remained a major problem in the bilateral relationship vis-à-vis -vis the Taiwan issue. For example, this visit of uh, Pelosi to Taiwan is actually, in my view, a in a large part because of the internal politics of the United States. Mm -hmm. Of course, what is damaged again is a bilateral relationship of United States and China, and in my view, also the interests of United States itself.